Hello everyone, back with another video, and today I will be teaching you guys on how to speed up your NVIDIA graphics card. It can be any graphics card, it can be a GTX 900 series, a GT, a RTX, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, this will be the best settings that works for me, and it'll definitely work for you guys, because these, like, these are just, it will optimize your PC, your graphics card, to run at a faster, um, faster FPS, faster performance, but it will cost you a slight, um, a slight quality, but anyways, so go into adjust image settings, and I'll recommend to put this on performance, or, and if you don't want to do that, put it on balance, because if you have it on quality, that means it will be running everything in good quality, but it may make you lose more FPS, so I recommend balance or performance. I use performance, because I don't see any difference, but click apply and yes keep change and there you go that's gonna help a lot it'll basically just performance mode you will see more jagged lines you're not really gonna see a difference but anyways image sharpening um if you really want more fps i recommend to turn this off it basically just makes images slash video quality a lot sharper and i would and i mean it's a good quality setting but it does tackle more FPS down, so um, ambient occlusion, it's one of those things that is good to have on, but it's also bad to have on. Reduces performance, and anisotropic filtering is basically just, it crisp, it makes the textures more crispy, so that's soft, just to maximize performance. FXAA, this is anti-anceling, so what this does is, it's basically... It removes jagged lines. It basically makes everything look more, um, it just makes everything look more, like, smooth, less jaggy. Again, have that off, but, um, for best performance. And CUDA GPUs, make sure to have that on all. Um, this is my CUDA GPU, uh, you know, GTX, which is, yeah, just keep it on all. DSR factors, keep that off, definitely. It just... It just, again, makes images more sharpener by upscaling. Um, so, yeah, if you have this on, that will really de decrease performance as it will upscale the image, increasing, like, your 1080p quality and pixels. Uh, low latency mode. Now, with this, you may think Ultra will be the best for everyone, but no. Um, actually, for most people, have it on on. But I've already done my benchmarking, and it is best for me on Ultra. But, um, yes, just tweak with this. Um, don't put it on off, because it just, on and Ultra, that's the fastest option. But Ultra, that's for me, works better for me. But, yeah, that's basically that. Um, turn that off. Um, I mean, you can already tell why. Open Geo Rendering GPU. Put your best GPU on this. Uh... Auto select that auto select may select you know your your integrated graphics so just put that on your main GPU uh so there you go power management mode now this is important this is probably one of the biggest differences uh so put on prefer maximum performance if it's on optimal power it's basically like power savings it's going to run on a low um uh gigahertz and it's gonna run slower. Adaptive, you know what, adaptive can work if you wanted it, but adaptive basically just, it makes everything more balanced, and, but I prefer, just do maximum performance, you're going to see better. Now, shader cache, have this on, this will greatly improve um, loading times, and may even give you more FPS as it uses shader, it, see, if you use shaders and play games, it Put some of that data in your disk drive or your in your SSD, and that can greatly improve performance. But it does take up a little bit of space, but it's not much. Now keep keep this on. This uh, this speeds up you know performance. Um, negative LED. Keep that on. That can also improve performance. Allow uh, texture filtering quality high performance. Put it on high performance, so most likely it's on high quality for you. Put on performance, though. Uh, high quality, quality, like I said, 
it will focus more on quality and less on the FPS. So put it on high performance, um, easy. Um, texture filtering to linear optimization, turn this on. This will greatly improve improvements in the DirectX programs, which is most every game nowadays. Now, threaded optimization, uh, also have that on if you have vertical sync. And uh, I'm gonna tell you why in a second, but uh, now triple buffering, have this on, uh, vertical sync. Now, this is the thing with vertical sync. So, um, I know a lot of people talk bad about vertical sync, but listen, listen to me. So what vertical sync does, it syncs your GPU into your monitor's refresh rate. So if your monitor has is 60 hertz, you know, 60, 60 hertz refresh rate, then turn, okay, I'd recommend turning on vertical sync because what it does is it syncs your GPU, it syncs your monitor into the GPU. So like if you have a 60 hertz monitor, this will sync that onto your GPU so it doesn't overbound the FPS because if you have if you're at like like 120 frames when you have a 60 hertz monitor that's just wasting CPU usage that's wasting your GPU's usage and it's just a big waste of energy so have vertical sync on I promise you you may not see a huge improvement but it will definitely improve in the background so trust me and keep virtual see I would recommend one but you can also put it on two um either one I would I just recommend one uh one or two but I have it on one for me now with all of this click on apply and we're not done yet we're almost done and there we go now configure sound this is also important with the this is basically just real time physics effects now your CPU can also do these effects, but it will have better quality and better performance if you have your graphics card doing it. So keep it on that. Put it on your graphics card. Mine's a GTX 1660. So there you go. Change resolution. Just make sure um, it's on the highest hertz rate possible, which is your monitor, and the highest possible on this. Um, and yeah, that's just because your monitor is that the same refresh rate, but uh, in the same pixels, but uh, there you go. And here we go. Put this on full screen. So basically, if, you, if you're in a game and it's like, for example, like you're on 720p on your PC, like, you're, like you change the settings on your PC to 720p, it just, it just fits it into the 1080p stream, uh, screen. So it doesn't have any square like it doesn't have any black areas where there's like no display going on so put on full screen per that's perfect for me um and yeah I, you can put uh put it on that there you go that's the max oh yeah and with this um i recommend to keep it on full i mean yeah put it on full as a dynamic range you will see a lot more colors but it may affect performance, so I might actually just keep it on to limited, but you're not going to see a difference, so it's fine. And adjust video image settings. Um, this is all, this is basically it, and just check that on, and yeah, click apply. And that's about everything you can really do on this, on this um, thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it improves your speeds and stuff. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.